Within one week, I had people asking me, are you on steroids? What are you on? Are you on steroids? The first time that I used d -Bowl, it was the classic old school bro cycle. The 50 milligram d -Bowl a day, stacked with 500 milligrams a week of testinanthate. I packed on 20 pounds in four weeks with lots of water retention, but this was at a point where I'd plateaued and I just couldn't go above that weight. Suddenly I just put on 20 pounds like that. Progress was effortless. I'd show up at the gym, slap some weight on the bar, and it just felt like all my working weights from before were warm-ups. I remember in the gym thinking to myself, I was like, so this is what it's like to be on steroids. The intramuscular fullness that Dianabol gives you is crazy. The pumps are savage and the strength is beyond belief. Until I discovered why they say it is one of the worst compounds out there for back pumps. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you've taken 40 or 50 milligrams of T-Bowl and done heavy deadlifts or heavy squats. And outside the gym, I couldn't even walk two or 300 meters at a time because my lower back would be completely lit up and my shins would be so pumped. My liver was fried. Every time I went to the toilet, it was dark urine. And then the classic high E2 side showed up. I had the oily skin, itchy nipples, night sweats, bloated face. I had high, high blood pressure. My legs were very swollen. I had to drop it in the fifth week because I didn't know how to handle the side effects and I wasn't running it in an intelligent way and I'll get on to how to run it properly that doesn't give you these side effects later on in the video. Everyone responds differently so bear that in mind. Genetics, training, diet, recovery, have I forgotten something there? Duration of cycle, dosage, all these factors are going to depend on your potential results. This stuff is highly anabolic. The glycogen storage will offer you more pressure in your cell and you're going to feel that every time you go to lift up a heavy weight. Your lifts, they're going to go up 40, 50, 60 pounds in four weeks providing you know what you're doing. Your intramuscular fullness is gonna be nuts. Every time you look in the mirror, you're gonna look like you're on steroids. People talk down about estrogen so much, but it's gonna to contribute towards a lot of muscle growth. And if you manage your estrogen levels and diet properly, you are gonna look like a king. It upregulates your GABA receptors in your brain. So when you walk into any room, you're gonna feel confident, calm, and relaxed. You're gonna feel like a lion. You're gonna feel incredible. But guys, let's have your opinions on D-Bowl. Let's hear it. Did you get that anti-gravity strength? Did you get dramatic results? Tell your story down below. We want to hear it. Look, if you do the old school granddad approach and get five to 600 milligrams of test and stack that with 50 milligrams of D-Bowl, it is the best way to put your blood pressure up to insane levels very quickly. Just throwing two things that are very heavy substrates of aromatize on top of each other and not considering adding a compound that's going to complement the D-Bowl. And if you don't do that, you're gonna get these side effects coming up. Bloating, the balloon look, the Michelin man look. You look like a water buffalo because you've got a clueless diet or you've got no diet when you're stacking it. And you're stacking it with compounds that don't make any sense. So your body is essentially loaded up with crazy amounts of estrogen. The strength and the size is easy come and easy go. So you get that fluid in the cell at the start, you're very strong, you feel great, but at the end, the fluid goes, the strength goes. Is that gonna affect you mentally? Are you gonna start saying to yourself, oh, I'm getting weaker? Don't do that. Carry on, you are as strong as a lion regardless. Workout stopping lower back pumps and shin pumps. I've even had bicep pumps where I couldn't move my arm after the bicep workout. And for those out there that care what people think about, it's gonna blow you up quick. So people are gonna realize and know that you're on steroids. Have you got a strong enough identity to just flick them off like a fly, or are you still at this stage where you care what everyone thinks? If you're at the latter, you're always gonna live a shitty life. If you are very sensitive to water gain on it, what you could do, you could do two days on D-Bowl and two days off. This does actually keep the sides down a bit because it prevents it from building up too much in the bloodstream. I've heard guys say that it makes their hair fall out very fast. The Rock, Vin Diesel, Dr. James, We've all got bald heads. It's not really a side effect if it's a positive. Be smart, use liver support, get the blood down, and don't run it longer than six weeks unless you've done previous cycles of it and you know your body can handle it. Boys, let's blow this channel up, yeah? Let's go. A ratio of one to one on the views and the likes. Now you've hit the like button and insane intramuscular fullness is yours. 
let's proceed to dosages. Anything from 15 to 30 milligrams a day is effective for me. If you move up to 40 milligrams a day, expect to be burning through aromacin like it's going out of fashion. If you wanna run it for a longer period, like 10 weeks, I would drop that dosage down to 10 to 20 milligrams max. This is all depending on the brand, of course. You need to try it out. Technically, you can run orals for as long as you would like, as long as you are checking your health markers and they're in a healthy range, especially your liver. It seems to work best when you split the dosages up into three, morning, mid-lunch, and afternoon, evening, which is pretty much every six, seven hours. The old d bowl -only cycle. Now, for your first cycle, you can run a low dose of d bowl it's not actually as bad as the internet claims. Maybe you wanna run it for about six weeks because remember, Dynabol is very toxic on your liver. You will have to prepare for some very androgenic side effects post-cycle. If you ask me though, d only cycle is a stupid idea. You might as well add test in. If you can't man up and put a needle in your leg, you don't deserve the gain, son. Hold up, hold up. I just wanna take a head count of all the natties out there. Drop a comment in the box below if you are still natural. And then other natties, jump on that comment and just hit the like on it. I wanna see how many natties are out there. How to maximize D-Bowl then? Always run it with a test base, a low test base, and a DHT derivative. Primo or Mastron is going to enhance the good effects that Dynabol brings. It's gonna minimize the negatives, it's much smarter. You can even put in a very low dosage of Nandrolone, because that's a 19 nor. Don't consider doing Trembolone on it. Hold up, before we move on, have you subscribed? Hit that subscribe button now, let's see it. Okay, subscribe, we're moving on now. Straight into how to maximize d -bowl in a way that no one really seems to know about. So I've got an example cycle here with d -bowl. We've got Test E300, Primo, 200 milligrams a week. d 10 to 20 milligrams a week. AI, like Aromacin on hand. Grab yourself a liver support. Fish oils with high EPA. Taurine for those back pumps. 10 pints a day of water. Do your cardio daily. Make sure you have a quick acting magnesium in case your legs blow up and get all watery. Wrist wraps because potentially your biceps and forearms are gonna get pumped massively when you're training heavy back. Donate blood prior to your cycle and also afterwards. All these things are gonna help you on a D-Bowl cycle and if I've left anything off the list, whack them in the comments below. It's not a crime to use D-Bowl when you're cutting. If you're on a calorie deficit, it's going to really help you keep that muscle. And if you can just ignore the scales for a bit, get back on the dry compound at the end after the water's gone, it's gonna be a good cycle for you. Also, another smart way to use d -bolt is actually at the end of a cycle to blast through strength plateaus. Your bench has gone up to a certain rate and you're 12 weeks in, what do you do? You could add d -bolt in for the last three or four weeks. You've just smashed your PB on all your lifts at the end of a cycle, progressively overloading. We don't slam all the compounds in at the start, we can hold them back, so be smart. You could have d -bowl at the end as a special weapon. So those two options are for you to consider, d -bowl for cutting and d -bowl at the end of a cycle to smash plateaus. Up next, watch my other video on NPP and DECA. That is an awesome one. It's time you realize, brother, you are more than a limited human being. You are unstoppable.